Welcome to Sports News. Flying Eagles coach Manu Garba has released a list of 21 players who will represent Nigeria at the 19th African Youth Championship in Senegal. Skipper Musa Mohamed, who led the under-17 squad uh, that won for Nigeria a record for the FIFA Under-17 World Cup in the United Arab Emirates in 2013, will lead the pack, supported by fellow under-17 world champions like Akinji Deidu, Izuchuku Omego, Abdullahi Alfa, Dele Alampasu, Chidara Eze, and Taiwo uh, Awoni. Others in the team include Oloran Lekiojo and Ifai Ifai. The Egyptian Premier League will resume in March with supporters banned from attending matches. The competition had been suspended after at least 19 people died following clashes between fans and police outside the stadium in Cairo on February the 8th. And an unexploded Second World War bomb has been discovered close to Borussia Dortmund's signal Iduna Park ground. Now, the device, reported by German media as being of British origin, was found uh, today, Thursday, and plans are underway to try and defuse it. Now, the discovery came just hours before Dortmund boss Jürgen Klopp was due to give a conference, a news conference, that is, ahead of Saturday's derby against Schalke, where well, the stadium and surrounding area was later evacuated. Teenager born of courage produced a performance beyond his age to shock world number three Andy Murray, 6-1-6-3 at the Dubai Tennis Championships. Courage, a ranked 84 in the world, is the youngest player in the top 100. And after beating Rafa Nadal at the Swiss Open last October, he achieved arguably an even greater feat by defeating Murray with a composed professional display to reach his second tour semi-final. That's it in sports news. Bimbo will be back with the rest of the news at 10. On the foreign scene, after all the months of hiding behind a mask, the Islamic State militant known as Jihadist John, who has been pictured in the videos of the beheadings of Western hostages, has been identified. Here's Cynthia Aria with more details. Thanks a lot. The man behind the mask has been identified as Mohammed Mwazi, a Kuwaiti-born British man in his mid-twenties from West London, who was previously known to the British security forces. Now, they chose not to disclose his name earlier on for operational reasons. Mwazi first appeared in a video last August, where he apparently killed the American journalist James Foley. Then in yet another attempt at peace, Ukraine's army is starting the withdrawal of heavy weapons from the front line in the east as part of a truce. It says the pullout of 100 millimeters caliber artillery is the first step and will be monitored by OSCE observers. Also today, the long arm of the law has caught up with a former nurse who admits killing more than 30 patients with lethal drug overdoses and he's been jailed for life by a court in northern Germany. The man identified as 38-year-old Niels H. was convicted of two counts of murder and attempted murder. Finally, one person has been killed and five others, including policemen, injured when five bombs exploded in Cairo. According to the Interior Ministry, a bomb exploded outside of a restaurant in the residential district of Imbaba, killing one person and wounding two others. That's the foreign news wrap up. It's back to you now. Thank you, Cynthia. And the main news again. President Goodluck Jonathan today visited recaptured towns of Mubi and Baga and others in Borno and Adamawa states, where he assured the troops of more support and better welfare. And the APC presidential candidate, General Muhammadu Buhari, says he will defeat security challenges in Nigeria if elected. He spoke at Chatham House in London. That's the end of the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Do join us again tomorrow night. I'm Bimbo Loyede. And up next is Nigeria 2015. Have a good night.